Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to get rid of a boot loop on your Android phone. So what a boot loop is, it is if you hit something in your system files uh, or if exposed and solid didn't work or something like that. It's probably if you have a rooted phone and root is jailbreak for Android if you didn't know. So here's a quick fix for it, it works and it's very simple and if your phone is totally off, mine is now then you can hold the volume button and maybe the volume down button and the power button and if you hold them together and wait a few seconds then your phone boots up in this screen and mine is from Yumi so and now I get this screen. Let me focus on it. Come on. Alright, so now we are in some light spray so you can see what actually is going on. And if you press the volume down button, you see the option is going down. And this is a Chinese version of Android. Most phones these days have just normal English or your language. So what you need to do then is just, um, yeah, very simple, just wipe all the data on your phone. So you lose all the data. And if you have a China phone or a Chinese Android, you go to this option, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th option. And there are two Chinese letters and E, M, M, C. And if you press the power button on it, then it says this. Some Chinese things in E, M, C, data, some other Chinese things and then your phones just power off and it reboots like normal so this is a quick tutorial i can show you my phone probably working after this because now it must start up start up of course here clean android so like i said on some phones like samsung and so or something like that, the most popular phones. There is a um, screen in your language or in English and it's just wipe data. And you lose all your data but your phone works and that's the most important thing. So let's pause the recording here. Okay, so here we are. Welcome it says but it is in Dutch. And just you can set everything now and your phone fully works again. So I hope you enjoyed, you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, please leave a like on the video. And yeah, see you in the next tutorial.